guys, welcome to my scrappiness. Hey guys, look, we are working on July uh, QB Lane Club kit today. And yes, I know I'm like a couple months behind and I am so sorry, but I am trying to catch up right now and um, show you what we can do with this kit. I'm going to do a one page layout and I'm going to unbox it with you right now. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh, it's a 4th of July kit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am loving this kit as it already. Um, oh my word, look at America the Beautiful. That's what it's called. And let's try and open it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, the uh, cards got loose from the baggage. Oh wow. So as usual, let us go over the cards real quick and I'm going to speed this up. I hope you can catch up. Sorry for the sunlight stuff. <laughs> I got some sunlights here. Anyway, uh, here you go. We're going to our four by fours. I am loving it already. This this uh, kit, I haven't even looked at the papers yet, but just the cards alone, I am loving it. Oh my gosh, look at that, that. look at that. OMG, this is gorgeous. I am so sorry for the sun things here, but anyway, how cute is that? This is so cute. Okay, loving it already. Let's put the cards back in here and I'll just tape it up later so they won't get loose on me and run away because I am loving this kit as it is. I mean, there's a lot of July 4th um, um, kits and so far, I think this is my most favorite. I mean, I've seen all the different kits from the different um, brands right now but this by far is my favorite okay let's look at the papers I cannot wait okay guys let me put this on the side so moving on we have 10 papers here and let me go and go through them real quick my apologies for this guys I tried to change the, the to work on the blinds but it's still the Sun likes to peek through so uh, and I'm just using a natural light right now. So anyway, let me go ahead and move forward and check on our papers. Oh my gosh. Here's the next one. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, you could just have this beautiful red. Oh my gosh, you got this paisley. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my goodness. You can normally create two 12 by 12 uh, layouts or double layouts uh, with this. So they give us two each of these patterns. It's one, and then here's the other one. Oh, I am loving the texture and the gray. Oh wow, like denim type on this. All right, so let me go and look at the um, Templates that they've given us and see what kind of templates they have. I can't wait to see them because I had a peek actually of this and I am so happy with them. First one is Lady Liberty. It's Freedom 6. This is so cute. And then Freedom 4. And then we have Freedom 2. It, this, you know, this reminds me of the stripes for the, um, uh, my husband was in the Air Force, so the Air Force, you know, stripes, sort of, kind of. Anyway, there you go. And then we have uh, Fireworks or Freedom 1. Oh, this is so cute. And then we have Freedom 3. I love that. And then we have Freedom 5. So guys, let me think of a layout that I can create with this. 
and I will be right back. Oh my gosh, guys. I thought I turned on my video, but I didn't. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so what I did was I took I took this paper and I used the banners. I traced it and cut it. I did two on the same paper because I used this paper for this and then the back side for this. So I did two banners and then I cut the banners in the middle, which is this two. So I placed them um, opposite each other. And then what I did was trace and cut. Excuse me, I have so many scraps here. I have to. And then I trace this with the with this paper. But I traced them at the back because obviously it's it's lighter. So I traced them both at the back, traced them, cut them, inked, and then inked them. And then I um, had to create this star in the middle. And to do the star in the middle, I just basically, let's just say this is the star and I'm going to show it to you how I did it. So we trace the star in the middle of the circle. And what I did was, because it's uh, pretty much inlaid, so what I did was um, poke a hole in the middle, went straight up to one of the points, and then it gave me the chance to be able to open the uh, from the where I cut to now at this point, start cutting this way start cutting to the point over there turn it get it to the point on that side and then on this side and then at this point I just went ahead and cut from where we started okay so now this is your excess right so now you just go back opposite there you go easy as that and you didn't really crimp your um, your item. So this was the most, well, I shouldn't say this was the most difficult because the Lady Liberty was a bit difficult too. But what I did was I just cut straight out. If you notice here, I didn't really, if you see the ends here, the Lady Liberty, Liberty's head is right there. But the raise of her crown right here I just went in and then just just straight down on each one of them because there was no way I would be able to cut it to where um, on this sides here and make those half or whatever quarter circles so if you look at my Lady Liberty if you look at my Lady Liberty it's just you know I just went this way like I was cutting through the race and then at the end, and then I just, um, like I did with this, basically. Make them like spikes instead. Okay, so let me go back to the star. When I did the star, so it was done, right? So I have to, I um, inked the inside of the star. Obviously, the circle is going to be easier to ink, but the inside of the star, what I did was, I took my um, uh, ink pad, my cat eye ink pad, and then as I I push this down, and I try to lift this set on the this side up, because you will see, and then I went around the five the five sides. Oops, sorry. I went around the five sides. Sorry about this part here, but um, it's bending over there, but. It, it didn't bend on mine and then there you go so basically you're covering the ink the uh, pencil marks so after I've done that I went the opposite way so that way you can um, pretty much cover your your pencil marks and there you go so that's what I did with that
and here's the layout i hope you enjoyed watching guys i am so sorry i thought i had my um my uh recorder on but i did it again this is like the 20th time <laughs> that i've done it to where i've forgotten to not that i should say 20th but you know i normally normally make sure that it is on but unfortunately this time it i didn't obviously checked it but anyway this is how i'm going to do the layout we're going to have two photos here we have two photos here and I put them as sort of like overlapping this way and then um, I didn't lay this down fully yet just as I didn't lay this down fully yet because I want the pictures to go underneath the the um, elements and so that's how it's gonna look we can put our title up here our journaling down here I'm a very simple scrapbooker and I like my elements to be um, flat on my album because I don't like the the bulkiness and then some of my uh, pictures when I close my album get dented on the other side or you know both sides Anyway, guys, if you're still watching up to this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. And like I said, if you like what you see, please share. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.